Blessed Isidore the Fool for Christ lived in Russia during the 15th century and was canonized by the Russian Orthodox Church. He is not a Catholic saint, however Catholics can still be inspired by his holy life and they can pray to him privately if they so wish. I wanted to do a video on this saint because I found his humility and his detachment inspiring. Apparently Isidore was a German bachelor from a wealthy family who gave away all of his possessions to the poor and travelled to the foreign land of Russia, settling in the city of Rostov, where he lived in poverty and seclusion in a small hut. He devoted his days and nights to ceaseless prayer and fasting because he loved God very much and wanted to save his soul and the souls of others. He went about barefooted and scantily dressed, enduring freezing cold, scorching heat and derision. He begged for his food and gave away most of it to other poor people. In his great humility, Isidore pretended to be insane in order to be despised and maltreated rather than admired or respected by others. He wanted everybody to think nothing of him. He suffered many insults, beatings and mockery from the people of the city who thought he was mad because he never stopped talking to himself and he behaved foolishly, running about the place and sleeping on a dunghill among other feats. Isidore died in Rostov on May 14, 1474 AD and his reputation for holiness grew when it was discovered that his body exuded an exquisite fragrance. Numerous miracles and cures were wrought through his intercession, including the curing of a blind person who visited his grave. Moreover, a local man revealed after the saint's death how he had been saved from drowning by Isidore, who walked on the sea and brought him back to the shore. Isidore forbade him to ever speak to anyone about this miracle until after his death. With the war in Europe, we must not forget that there are many good people in Russia and that we should pray for them as they are suffering because of this war. May the saints procure for us peace and an end to the bloodshed.